Guys, it's good to see everybody still going out, spending money. Right? Everything's so expensive these days, it's out of control, right? So, I got a little nervous. You know, I called my father, because my father seemed to always do well in life, always had money. They loved talking back then, huh? So, <laughs> so, I called my father, I'm like, you know, Dad, I'm a little nervous. You know, what do you do during times like this? And he's like, well, I gave up sex. I said, what do you mean you gave up sex? He said, well, between my pills and her cream, it's costing me 600 a month. <laughs> so I showed him how to get a hand job on Craigslist for 10 bucks. <laughs> But it's crazy because, you know, I was looking at pictures of my father, uh, you know, you ever look at pictures of your parents years ago and they just look like so much older than they were at the time, right? Like my father was just always the same age. Like I just always assumed he was like that age, you know, just a man working and doing everything. So, you know, I'm standing in my room and I'm like, ah, I'm pretty sure my father wasn't doing things that I do when he was 50. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he wasn't masturbating on his hardwood floors in his bedroom. <laughs> and if he was, I guarantee it wasn't on Tuesday at like two in the afternoon. The guy was working. So I just turned 50 a couple of weeks ago. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, other than I really can't see as good as I used to. And, uh, the menopause. No, it's not my menopause. It's my wife's menopause. It's basically like, uh, like knowing you don't have dementia, but somebody's constantly telling you that, oh, I didn't say that. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. You know, for an example, a couple of weeks ago, she sends me a text. Hey, what do you want to do for dinner? I was like, I don't know, maybe some grilled chicken? Now, pork chop? Uh-uh. Some shrimp? Oh, never, I don't eat shrimp. I'm like, what do you mean you don't eat shrimp? I've seen you eat fucking shrimp. So we get into like a two-day fight where we walk past each other like strangers on the seven train. Two days ago, I'm coming home, I get a text. Hey, can you pick up some shrimp? I'm gonna make a shrimp salad. I'm like, I'm like, do you not remember that we didn't talk for two fucking days over grilled shrimp? So I have two boys, one's 28 and one's 11. Yeah, big gap there, right? So the 28-year-old, that's my millennial. Yeah, we should have recognized this, the signs then. I mean, he's, he's like a vagina on a rooster. That's scary. So then we skipped Gen Z, thank God, because they don't know what the fuck's going on. And now the 11-year-old is considered the uh, alpha generation but you know i disagree you know because these kids are soft today you know like yeah they're really soft so i i, I kind of refer to them as the taint generation we'll have more of that later but it's the parents the parents are soft you know and uh you know i'm 50 my wife's a little older most of the parents that we deal with with 11 year olds are millennials. You know, they're in their 30s, late 20s. And they're fucking just soft people, man. You know, you know, everybody's here, anybody's got kids, you know, you gotta be at the ball field eight o'clock on a Saturday morning, right? So I get to the game, freezing my ass off. And one of the guys looks at me, he's like, oh my God, I can't believe I made it. He's like, uh, me and my wife, we opened up a bottle of Chardonnay at 10.30 last night. Woo! We drank the whole thing. I was like, whoa, nice. I was like, I had Michael hold the wheel while I did a bump on the way to the field. It's the only way I'm getting to this fucking game. This train is a running.
That's a secret, right? I heard that. Somebody. <laughs> So, as the older parents, though, sometimes, you know, the, the, these, these other parents, they, like, they, they try and ask us for, like, I don't know, snippets of wisdom, I guess. So, one day I'm in the backyard, and I hear my wife talking to the women, and she's like, well, you know, if you don't give them a blowjob, somebody else will. I'm like, okay, what's going on over here? And one of the girls is just like, ah, oh, I, I wish he could just blow himself. <laughs> So my wife goes, she goes, well, I'm sure there's videos on like YouTube or something of guys giving themselves blowjobs. So like you think. So I come to find out my wife's watching videos of guys giving themselves blowjobs. So I'm like, well, they gotta have really big dicks. She's like, nah, not really, just flexible. Okay. So here I go, Googling this shit. Sure enough, a bunch of skinny guys with man buns doing yoga. So now I'm 20,000 into a master yoga class. which is a minimum five-year program before I can suck my own dick. I can't even get to the shins right now. It's not easy. So now, I go to one of my son's baseball games, right? And a kid steals second base. Like there, it's like fourth grade. Kid steals second base, and the whole of the team. We stole that base on you. We stole that base on you. That's kind of fucked up. You know, and then you look in the stands, and all the parents are like, "We stole that base on you. We stole that base on you." So I'm like, "God damn, we're just raising a bunch of little assholes." And then I thought about it for a minute. I was like, you know, when I was a kid, if somebody was doing that, somebody on my team would just run up and punch the kid in his fucking mouth, right? <laughs> so I'm like, shit, we're raising a bunch of pussies too. So basically we're raising that little spot where the pussies meet the assholes, the taint. <laughs> Told you I'd get you there. So real quick, anybody see that show Summer Home on Bravo? Yeah, right, okay. So it's like uh, Jersey Shore of the Hamptons. So I'm lucky enough, my friend of mine owns that house. So last year he, he sends out a text to everybody. He's like, hey, listen, I got about three weeks before they start shooting the show. Why don't we all go out here and do a, a golf vacation? So everybody's like, yeah, great idea, great idea. So we got like 18 guys, late 40s, early 50s. Everybody's showing up to the Hamptons one by one. Like, yeah, we're gonna rip it up. CPIs! Oh, you got that? CPIs! I'm like, rip it up. There's more sleep apnea machines than cars in the driveway. I swear to God, every time you open up a bedroom door, it's just some guy hoping to get to the morning. He's like, <sighs> Back in the 90s, we were talking about, you know, who we met, what kind of, if the girls are coming over. I'm sitting there, I got four guys talking about who's using fucking still water, distilled spring water. It's fucking brutal. But after a little while, one of my friends comes out of the bedroom, it's a sick house. He's like, yo, you gotta try the bidet in the master bedroom. I was like, all right, it's a little aggressive. Just got here. About 20 minutes later, another guy's like, you gotta try the bidet in the master bedroom. I was like, all right, I have a couple of drinks.